In the beginning, Numi Rapace found it hard to convince filmmakers she was butch enough to take on the role of Lisbeth Salander, the heroine of the best-selling crime trilogy, Millennium. I trained a lot of kickboxing and Thai boxing for seven months or something before the shooting started. Because I wanted to be more, a bit more thinner and a bit more masculine, you know. And also I wanted to get rid of my female softness in a way. Uh, and I cut my hair and I colored my hair black and uh, I pierced myself and, and I took motorcycle driving license. So I was, I was really working for many months before we started to shoot. The result is stunning. Critics say Numi and Lisbeth are almost interchangeable. Two tough young women living on the edge of Swedish society and deeply skeptical of authority in this orderly Nordic country. I felt like a rebel sometimes and I've been really critical to many things and when I was 15 I was you know a punk rocker in, in the south of Sweden and I just hated everything with Sweden and I was always against um, everything, the police mostly. <laughs> and, uh, so, so I can understand that side in Lisbeth. Lisbeth is raped by her lawyer and then takes revenge in the film's most violent scenes. It was really important for me to, to make those scenes as realistic as it was possible because I think that, you know, those kind of situations in real life are really brutal and really, you know, if, if somebody would watch a real rape scene, it would be really, really terrible. And, and I didn't want it to be, you know, nicer or softer. Or I don't want, you know, I don't want to escape myself from those kind of situations. I think it's really important to uh, to show how it really is. With the success of Millennium on the international scene, this woman's journey may have only just begun.